Hello and welcome to a new Cubase tutorial. A friend of mine asked me how do I manage in Cubase when I compose film music that audio clips stay at the same time position. So here is a short example. We got a video. Here is the audio file of the video. Here we got some marker. You see they start with the video and end with the video. Here we got some guide tracks or temp tracks and here is one little part played by the una corda okay so now i play this part and i want to change the tempo from 71 to 80 so i change it and you can see these two parts overlap let's go back Okay, so some people think you can avoid it by the lock feature. Let's try it. No, that doesn't work. But now I can't move any of these clips. So let's go back. Why does this happen? Because this part always start at this position bar 18 nearly bar 18 and now I change it to 80 and now it stays at bar 18 but uh, bar 18 is coming earlier because I changed the tempo so the solution is uh, this button I change the time from time base uh, uh, from musical to linear and now it's not based on the bar it's based on this time position so when I change now the tempo you see nothing changes in here so this is really great when you when you wanted to, to have um at midi tracks i prefer to have this one and now we go to the marker tracks because in here it's very important too you see i start with a video and i end with the video and now i change my tempo so everything seems fine no overlapping no because it's um, based on the bars and now every marker is coming too early. Okay, so we go to the original and here is the button. The bad thing in the marker tracks is we don't have the button at the inspector. You can see there is no possibility to see it somewhere in here. When I go to uh, the audio tracks, I can use the inspector and instruments or MIDI parts. You can see it there, but not at the marker tracks. And when you don't see it, perhaps you just have to open the track or um, you got to go to the control settings and uh, perhaps it's, it's hidden. So this this time, perhaps it's removed and then go back. And now I go to here, change it from musical to linear. But now I can change the time and nothing happens in here. And I lock this one. I lock the video. I lock the audio file. It's very important because when I'm at the music and then uh, let's say I delete something I don't want to delete some of the marker tracks perhaps I want to delete some other marker tracks you know you can have uh, multiple marker tracks in here let's see say uh, scenes and what else and then I can create another marker track. So this one, 
And when I'm doing this now, let's say delete time, you can see this changed, this changed, but in here, at this top marker track, at the audio file, and here, nothing changed. So, this is how I work with the lock feature and with the time based feature. When this video helped you, please give me a thumb up and when you get a question, just leave a comment. So don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any new episode. See you in the next time.